What's happening guys? It's Miss T Lovely coming at you with a video. Now I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm saying that in advance because I have a lot on my mind, a lot on my heart, and I hope I can articulate it all in this video. Um, this will be my week 34 post-op update. Um, as far as numbers, I can't even really give you guys a set number because I am currently fluctuating a lot. Um, I'm not a lot. Um, I mean, when I say a lot, this is consistently happening on a daily basis. One one day I'm one weight, the next day I'm another. And that's been over the course of a week. That's what I mean by a lot, not a lot of number. Um, as far as numbers go, I am fluctuating between the 294.4 and 295.2. So that's a one point something pound fluctuation that I'm seeing. Um, so what am I doing to combat this? First of all, I am trying to combat this because I have realized over the course of this week that my mind is beginning to fight me. And I cannot say that this is a plateau. Um, I will simply state that it's a fluctuation, which is a regular occurrence in the weight loss journey. Um, I've had this occur before, but not this consistent over a week. Um, so what I did was talk to my husband and he gave me some suggestions. He said that um, the way that I'm working out, I need to now really shock my body because um, I have continuously worked out doing my cardio and strength training, but what he wants me to do is flip it. He wants me to strength train first and actually strength train more. So um, you guys are going to be seeing my um, cardio when I post my videos go down. Um, in the sense of how long I'm on the machine. I'm on, I'm, I'm on the machine anywhere from um, an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half, and sometimes even two hours. Um, trying to get up to six to eight, trying to get up to six to eight miles each time and burn uh, 1,100 to 1,200 calories. Um, but that should, that's not going to be my focus. I'm going to get right back into mental here in a second, you guys, because I want to read something to you guys. You guys will give me time. Um, but yeah, he was saying that you need to be careful with your cardio because with cardio, um, after 45 minutes, it's no longer just tapping into the carb stores and the fats. It's starting to tap into your proteins, which is your muscle, which helps you burn more fat. So you need to start really work on um, strengthening those muscles so you can burn more. That's just to simplify it. Um, also, too, I need to work on my mind. For some reason, this week, my mind has been... <clears throat> it's been an overhaul of a combination of stress and with me thinking way too much. I haven't had this problem. It was a problem in my past before surgery. Just like last week, for some reason, I'm reliving, for the last two weeks, I have relived what I used to go through, what I no longer experienced. So actually, um, when I get through this, and I shall, I'll be able to be grateful because I'm able to see, and I'm documenting it now, that I, I relive this and I don't want to longer. I don't want to relive it. So I need to find ways, to, you know, to continue to combat it. And this is one. Um, one would be documenting it and putting it out here for myself, in hopes that it also will help somebody else. Um, so I read three books. Um, one of them is Power Eating. Another one is that I'm going to be looking into is the Strength Training Bible for Women. I'll show you guys that at a later date. Um, but the one that my husband suggested that I read as a reminder to myself how important my thinking is along this journey. And you guys know it has been really, really good. Like I said, this is just one of those weeks. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Encyclopedia um, The Encyclopedia Can't read backwards of modern bodybuilding. Um, I read in there a passage about mental. It is so in the mental. It's like my, it really and truly is mind over matter. I want to share it with you guys. Um, I'm just going to read the first paragraph. It says, The body will never fully respond to your workouts until you understand how to train the mind as well. The mind is a dynamo, a source of vital energy. That energy can be negative and work against you, or it can harness it to give yourself unbelievable workouts and build a physique that lives up to your wildest expectations. So, 
it's amazing that if you tell your mind, I can no longer do this, you won't be able to do it. But if you say, I can do it and you believe it, so it shall come to pass. I didn't even realize just, I know that this um, journey is mental, but I didn't realize just how mental it was until my mental started acting up. You know, until my mind started to play tricks on me. Um, and it's crazy because Candy Sweet enough talked about this and, you know, she's amazed at the comments she's getting on her last video. But I'm not because we've said it before so many times. A lot of us, mental is a lot of this, but we don't get just how mental it is until we begin to have to fight and quarrel with our minds. Um, you can stunt your progress just off thinking, I can no longer do this. Or, or, or um, I must be messing up, or something must be going wrong. What am I doing incorrectly? It is you need to just like we work our muscles and work out cardiovascularly. We need to train this muscle as well, and realize that sometimes it's going to fight us like it's been fighting me this week. So I, I really appreciate my husband for that reminder. And what I when I plan on doing. To combat this is do a shot to the body. We're going to strength train on today. Just strength train and do very light intensity cardio. And that's actually going to be my um, new form of working out. I'm actually going to be doing a lot more at home. So, you know, a lot of people think you can't get the results at home. You can, you can get them at home because I've always done a combination of both. But I'm doing this because I want to shock my body. So don't get me wrong, you guys. I'm going to be hitting my gym. That's... Uh, and I have to hit the gym twice a week no matter what at my school because I have that class as well as I hit my own gym but I'm saying I'm going to incorporate more home like I used to to keep my body constantly shocked and surprised so I can still see those losses and even with everything know that doing everything well I have to know that my body is going to decide it's going to act funny sometimes so anyway um Hopefully this is helpful to someone. This is the only reason why I did this. Um, one of the reasons why I did it. I did it for myself to document because I am going to get past my mental hurdle. Um, I'm going to get past these fluctuations. Uh, some good things, some really, really quick NSVs and I'm going to go. Um, I increased my water intake from 64 ounces to 100 ounces. Um, I'm still counting my calories still counting my protein that's actually one of my goals I need to work on this week I wanna I've been getting 60 50 to 75 grams of protein um, actually even at the highest as high as a hundred plus protein but I want to shoot for this next week I'm gonna start setting goals with you guys every week I want to shoot um, for 99 grams of protein a day so that's going to be my new goal um, as far as carb intake because we, we you guys know how I feel about that I'm actually going to switch my carb intake up from um, certain types of carbs because we know that there are many we have complex carbs and all that other stuff so I'm going to be doing a lot of fruit and veggies um, over the course of the next week and I'll let you guys know how it goes um, I have a fill on Thursday which I plan on taking you guys with me um, and I also have a surprise coming up here for you guys soon as well so if you've gotten to the end of this video thank you for watching um, Thank you for any encouraging words you guys have for me. And I'll see you guys with a workout vid. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.